Ladies and gentlemen, Halloween Horror Nights Week 2024 is sponsored by Dubby. Thank you so much for Dubby for uh, allowing us to be a part of this family. I've been drinking Dubby now for a few years, um, and it's been just a really, really good drink. No crashes or anything with 10 different flavors, two caffeine-free flavors, and a bunch of other ways for them to have that ultimate energy drink taste. Now, not only do they have all their energy drinks on their site, like the powders, all that stuff, but they also include shaker cups, and they got a ton of merch. That is a lot of fun. We're going to be getting our hands on some of that merch really soon. But, yeah, use code Nights of Horror for 10% off your order. W.GG. Check out their store, all their amazing products, but let them know Nights of Horror sent you. And use that promo code Nights of Horror for 10% off now for your regularly scheduled program. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Now, yesterday, if you watched our Halloween Horror Nights week, we covered our hype list for all the mazes slash houses uh, at Halloween Horror Nights this year, what we're excited for, you know, from least excited to most excited. By the way, sorry, I am a little under the weather right now, so bear with me. We're going to get through this, though. We're going to be healthy just in time for Halloween Horror Nights. We're already doing our precautionary, just staying in and taking medicine and just resting, but content still needs to be made anyway today we're going to go through our top most anticipated hype list um whatever you want to call it of the scare zones and uh yeah it's gonna be fun can't wait to do it so here we go now i don't know for sure if the death eaters are coming back to halloween horror nights this year there hasn't been an announcement as to my knowledge um so I don't know exactly if the Death Eaters are going to be there. But to the, I, if I'm not mistaken, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I do remember one year they didn't announce them and they still showed up. And I think that might have been last year. I don't know. But if they are there and they're just not announcing them, um, then I'm going to add them to this list. If they're not there, then uh, yeah. That's why I'm putting them at number five. <laughs> Because just because I don't know if they're going to be there for sure or not. So, like, I don't want to put them higher on this list and then they're not there at all. So, that's the only reason why I'm putting it at number five. Nothing else more. I love the Death Eaters. I think it's a great addition for Halloween Horror Nights in Hogsmeade. So, I truly hope they do come back. But if they don't, that's why it's at number five. Now, the four confirmed scare zones that I will talk about and rank based upon my excitement. For scare zones for HHN 2024, my number five is going to be Skull Lords. I mean, skeletons are cool, but you got some really good competition this year. With that being said, my number four is going to be Chainsaw Punks. You know, who doesn't love some punks and chainsaws? Come on. Um, at number four for me is going to be Skull Lords. My biggest complaint each and every year when it comes to the scare zones at Hollywood is that they kind of just bleed into one another. And so I definitely think this one is going to be stunted on by Chainsaw Punks, which is also going to be in that very similar area towards the front of the park. Um, and so I definitely think it's going to be overlooked, and that's why I'm not super hyped. The play area for like that back half of the scare zone is relatively small. Um, and the I haven't really seen any of the... The props or anything that's out there are scenic design um and so that's why i'm gonna put that one as my lowest one and then fourth is um the chainsaw punks um you know i i i like the 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 art that they've put out for them it looks really good just the, the way they described it i think this is gonna be a fun zone this is gonna be the zone uh, i'm assuming is uh, where you come in and you have the chainsaws and that'll be like the chainsaw chase out at the end of the night so really looking forward to this number four starting from four, make our way to one, uh, is going to be Skull Lords. Now, Skull Lords, I think the concept looks cool. I think the the props they put out looks really cool. However, for me, I'm getting a little gauntlet vibes there, just a little bit. I mean, it's not the same exact thing. There's like, they're really two different things when you look at it, but it seems kind of like the same storyline in a way, just different characters portraying different people. Um, however, I'm excited to see what the stilt walkers look like. I'm excited to see what the uh, on-street 
scare actors look like and what weapons they're using, costumes, all that fun stuff. That zone is uh, usually where the flame tower, that's where to be where the flame towers are. Um, and that zone is always great with costuming and, and people doing some funny, amazing stuff. So yeah, number four, Skull Lords. Now my number three, Death Eaters. Those of you that know me know that I'm a big Harry Potter geek, so of course my Death Eaters had to be up there on the list. But number three will be Murder of Crows. I think kind of I this is probably an unpopular opinion, but I kind of feel like the Crows are need a break. Um, they've been there now for the last two years at this point, I believe. Um, and so although they were super awesome, and I love the Stilt Walkers. Um, and and they're you know quite scary. I just think we need something new, um, and that's why I'm putting that at number three. And number three, um, murder of crows. Now we've seen the crows walking around before at horror nights. They're always you know those crows are a vibe unto themselves. I I think they're getting their own little like section if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully you had to let them roam around because I really did like how they were all over the place uh last year so but that's number three for me is the murder of crows and you know this isn't to say anything about you know what position i put these in it's just like i think these zones are all going to be good but you know just i have ones i'm really looking forward to this was a hard these last three were hard to put in the in the places that i put them because i'm excited for these next three for sure skull lords of course as well um i'm actually excited for all these scare zones but the crows have been some of the funniest and coolest things at Halloween Horror Nights in a long time, and their popularity grew so much so that they're getting their own scare zone this year. And I've seen the props outside of Hogsmeade and uh, the Fast and Furious roller coaster, and it looks phenomenal. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see baby crows, adult crows, um, a flock of crows, or a murder of crows. Uh, so uh, I cannot wait to see this, and I think it's going to be hilarious and a lot of fun. Number two, Murder of Crows. We had some great experiences with everybody who acts as the crows last year when we were doing our RIP tour. Made the experience super fun. So yeah, Murder of Crows is my number two. Number two will be Chainsaw Punks. Um, having seen TLEV's video um, last week at this point now, it was cool to be able to see some of the design already coming to life in the park for this. Um, and chainsaws are always fun. It's always a great time to catch the chainsaw chase out. Um, and so I definitely think with that, it being the initial scare zone when you walk in, I definitely think it'll be fun. And the next uh, number two on my list as far as scare zones go is the Skull Lords. Now, I love that like that medieval kind of like uh uh like royal court status is what what they're kind of saying so the skull lord seems like it would it's going to be some kind of um you know not like like a king arthur kind of style but maybe they're like dead kind of thing so i'm really excited for that number two it's going to come with shock for a lot of people chainsaw punks now i am a huge fan of punk rock and when i heard the idea of this concept i was like i'm sold 100 percent if they're going to be looking like punk rockers, dressing like punk rockers, acting like punk rockers, and playing punk rock music, sign me up. I love punk. Uh, over the summer, I got to go to uh, No Values, the punk rock festival here in Southern California with the Misfits who headlined, uh, and it was a great, great day. I mean, I got to see so many iconic bands that I never thought I would get to see growing up listening to. So, yeah, I think Chainsaw Punks is going to deliver. and That's that opening scare zone right when you walk into... Uh, Universal Studios, heading your way into the Parisian Courtyard. Uh, they take over that whole alleyway right there up until, I believe, the entrance to Waterworld, which will be, of course, the Purge Dangerous Waters. So, yeah, I think Chainsaw Punks is going to deliver. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to just rock out to the music in that zone. Uh, I think we're going two nights this year for sure. Um, I'm going opening night for sure. We're doing the day-night combo, so we're going to be testing out the game plan. Stay tuned for that. Uh, Hayes and I are already uh, going to be... We're already kind of developing that in our head right now. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and Chainsaw Pucks is going to deliver. And Luchador is number one. Kind of give it away a little bit with the, you know, just regular house hype list. But for those of you that hadn't seen that, or if this is a separate video, I don't know what's going on. But anyways, <laughs> number one, Luchador is 
Super excited, the two for one with Monstruos number two. Yeah, just always a lot of fun in that general area. <laughs> and I like to hang out there quite a bit, so. And then, of course, number one by leaps and bounds, miles and miles. Um, Luchadores Monstruos is going to be my number one. I love wrestling. I love luchadores. If you watched our video earlier this week about Santo, super exciting and super fun to watch. Um, and so that's why it's going to be my number one. I'm really hoping to see some like great, great character designs, some great stories coming to life. I really love what they've been doing with the scare zones as you exit um, from the Parisian courtyard mazes. Um, and they're always a fun, fun time. Although the footprint is relatively small, they, they do their the best to deliver in that area. I mean, that's why that'll be my number one. The most hype scare zone that I'm for is the Luchador, uh, Luchadores uh, Monstros. Um, I just obviously, I mean, if you know me, you know I'm a big wrestling fan. I like the Lucho Libres. So this is just like, I'm excited to see, especially it being after like coming, kind of coming out of uh, Monstros 2. Um kind of to see what they're going to do there. And we already seen some pictures. They got like a ring set up and like a cage. So very excited for that. And number one by process of elimination, Luchadores Monsterosos. Um, it's wrestling. <laughs> it's the one thing I love a lot. It's wrestling. Um, and it's Luchador wrestling. So, I mean, it's going to be great. Uh, we did a video earlier this week about uh, El Santo, the inspiration behind this zone, and I got to learn so much making that video and who this guy was and and what, who he represented uh, for uh, all of Mexico and stuff and how much of an icon this guy was um, that when I, when I heard about this scare zone, I was immediately stoked just for the wrestling aspect of it, but to get to know the history of El Santo and then now going into it, I'm going to enjoy it a lot more. Um, but I mean, I'm hearing, you know, I was watching a couple of these, uh, these lights on tours, especially with Monsteros and Murdy was saying there's a lot of these, uh, characters that are wrestling fans. So they've already been kind of talking and rehearsing things. So that makes me even more excited because you don't know what they're going to be popping off, what kind of moves they're going to be popping off, what kind of taunts they're going to be popping off. Like, I'm so excited for this. And on top of that, you know, they've, I've been seeing a lot of construction videos and updates in the park with the scare zone and a lot of the stuff is already rolled out. And in there is a mini ring with a with two wrestlers and a and a uh, a goblin ref, and I think that is the coolest thing ever that they actually put a little ring in there. It doesn't have to be full scale; just the representation of having a wrestling ring in that zone. It is so cool. So I'm so stoked for this scare zone. I might spend a little bit of time in that scare zone on our second night we go. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna have so much fun with this one. So. Yeah, guys, that is going to do it for my hype list, our hype list for uh, the Scare Zones. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We have one more video coming out for you tomorrow. These are our two bonus videos because I was originally going to end it on a Friday, uh, which was yesterday. But, you know, Scare Zones, everyone filmed Scare Zones but me. So that's why I'm filming this video. But uh, we, we did it. And then tomorrow, our final video, which is the note before you go, which will be by me. So. Hope you guys have a great spooky weekend. Check out them Orlando POVs if you guys want to get hyped for haunt season. But if you don't want any spoilers, tune in next week and we'll have our very own POVs up as well. Love each and every one of you. Stay spooky. Go.